This show is brought to you by United Healthcare. Got Medicaid? Got Medicare? Get more. Hello, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Project Volunteer. I'm your host, Randy Lanham. And I'm Teresa Rowe. Teresa, we are here today in Hartford, Kentucky at Signature Healthcare Nursing Home, and I'm super excited about volunteering. What about you? I'm very excited because it's just like a home in there. It is. They have such compassionate workers and volunteers, and we're going to meet some of them volunteers and get our hands dirty, so to speak, and do some volunteering. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have you ever wondered what nonprofit organizations do or about all their different volunteering opportunities? Or what about hearing testimonies from the recipients of their care? Join us on our journey as we walk in the shoes of a volunteer for a day and find out about some amazing organizations that are literally changing the world. And along the way, meet some true surprising heroes making a difference in the lives of others as we feature another Project Volunteer. Okay, Justin, as the administrator of this beautiful home, tell us what goes on here. So we are a nursing and rehabilitation center, and we have people from all ages, all age groups come in and need help with 24-hour skilled nursing. And uh, we also rehab our therapy department. We'll work with them uh, with a therapy program to help them get back home and, and back into the community. Why do you do what you do? Well, I, I love people and I love making a difference in someone's life and in our setting you get the opportunity to do that your entire day and it's, uh, it's a special uh, opportunity to have uh, to work with people every day in that capacity. Justin, do you have an inspirational story, something that's impacted you um, working here and also watching the volunteers work with the residents? Sure, yeah, I think uh, everybody that works uh, with elders has some type of story like that. Mm -hmm. Mine was when I started training as an administrator. I was new into the nursing field and I was walking through the home and I noticed one of the residents was uh, a little down mm -hmm. and so I just walked in I didn't know her she didn't know me and I just asked her how her day was going and she perked up and was instantly you know put a smile on her face and I just put my hand on her shoulder and I just started talking with her a little bit and just within 10 seconds tears started coming down her eyes oh. And, and then I thought, oh no, you know, what have I done? And she then went to tell me that uh, she knows that the staff loves her and they treat her really well and that the administration was great with her, but she didn't know me. And for somebody to make the decision to come in and talk to her, that I was the first person in weeks that had actually touched her by on purpose and, and making a decision to do that and she said that her staff does that every day and that's part of what they do but to have somebody make a decision to come and say and ask her how she was doing made a big impact on her life and that's the day that I realized that volunteerism is uh, so important to our residents uh, we as staff here can provide as much as we can for them mm -hmm. but someone from the community making a decision to come in and have a conversation means a lot to our elders and kindness goes a long, long way. And just by the touch mm -hmm. of a person, right. I mean, it, it means a lot. She, uh, uh, her her words were that it sent chills down her body when I touched her on her, on her shoulder and uh, that she hadn't had that touch wow. uh, in a long time. Justin, thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. your beta club in here today the four pillars of beta club are leadership character service and achievement and so each year we try to find different service projects within our community to where we can go out and help others and volunteer and so this year our main service project is to go to the nursing homes and to take them on virtual field trips 
So we want to take them on a tr field trip because we know that they're not able to get out of here. And there's a lot of places they would like to go and visit. And this is the best way that we could think of to make that happen for them. That's so neat. So Presley, are you a part of this, obviously? Yeah. Okay, so tell me about your part and where you're taking them on this virtual field trip. Um, I'm going to be taking them to the Statue of Liberty. And we're using Google Earth to do that. I was going to ask, so how do you do that? I know we have a screen back here behind us, so you obviously have this connected to a computer and you just start it and it's just like you're there? Mm -hmm. That is so neat. So what do you do next after this? Um, well, we pull it up and then we view it as like we're talking mm -hmm. and then the next person does a different destination. Okay. And then we go around and we stamp their passport booklets. So everyone has a passport booklet that you stamped? That's pretty neat. So are we going on different places today? Yeah. Uh, Where all are we going to visit? Um, Central Park, the Statue of Liberty. Um, is there a zoo that we're going to visit? Yeah, I, I think, think there's so. a zoo that we're going to visit as well. And then some other. All right, well, it sounds like neat, uh, neat places to go. I'm ready, and I'm ready to help you as a volunteer. So can we go ahead and get started? Sure, sounds good. Okay. Let's go see Statue of Liberty. Okay. Today we are going to visit one of the most popular cities in the U.S., New York City. We're going to visit the Statue of Liberty, Central Park, the 9-11 Memorial and Museum, and Grand Central Terminal. With everything you're going to see today, there's no wonder it's a major tourist destination. The Statue of Liberty was given to the United States as a gift of friendship from France after the American Revolution. The statue is made entirely of copper. It is actually green because it oxidized due to the weather over the years. It was brown for about 30 years before it became the green color it is now. In her right hand, she holds a torch to symbolize enlightenment. This is because the actual name of the Statue of Liberty is Liberty Enlightening the World. In her left hand, she holds a tablet, which has the date American declared, America declared independence from Britain. She also wears a crown with points on it to represent light. To visit the statue, you have to travel by ferry to Liberty Island. You can actually go inside the Statue of Liberty if you buy tickets. Over the years, the Statue of Liberty has become widely recognized as a symbol of freedom all around the world. Now we're going to stamp your passport booklets. That was pretty cool, and I love the passport stamping, and gosh, thank you both so much for what you do. Thank you for volunteering, and thank you for bringing the kids here. Thank you for having us. We hope they had a good time sightseeing with seniors. Absolutely. Thank you so much for meeting me here today. Absolutely, my pleasure. So tell me about your job. What do you do? What's your title? I'm the Director of Compassion Fund and Volunteer Coordinator for Signature Healthcare. And I watch over 115 plus homes volunteer programs. And I, whenever uh, someone volunteers, um, they go online and register. Mm -hmm. And I'm the one that reviews that application and I get in touch with the facility that is closest to them and then we start the volunteer processes. And I also educate and train our volunteer facility leaders and um, teach them how to recruit volunteers as well as orientate them. 
and make sure that all of our volunteers are credentialed properly so that they can safely serve in our homes. Mm -hmm. And I track all of our volunteer data to make sure that our volunteer programs are flourishing or if we need to make any changes to make it better for our residents. Why don't we tell the folks about all the different kind of volunteering opportunities that, that there are? There are so many volunteer opportunities. The sky is the limit when it comes to volunteering. We want people to just come in and share their joys with us, their talents, things that make them happy. Um, if you're a photographer and, and love to take pictures, then come in and, and show us a photo album of the pictures of these elders' hometowns, yeah. um, the seasons that are happening. We don't think about them not being able to get out sometimes, right? And see Absolutely. their hometown, see the seasons. Yeah. Yes, yes. And, you know, it just means so much to them. And then if that is your talent and you enjoy it, then just just share that. And, I mean, if, if you're... Um, if you're a magician, come in and, and, and show us magic tricks. Yeah. If you love music, come in and, and play or teach someone an instrument. Yeah. If you love to do art, if you uh, know a foreign language, if you love to travel, if you love to tell stories, if you love to coordinate events, yeah. I mean, we have a place for you. So what you're saying is, instead of listing off these things, we need volunteers for this, 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 and this, you're saying if you have a talent and a compassion, come in and we'll use it. Yes. That's pretty cool. Yes, absolutely. We have a place for you. Now, I bet, you know, you use volunteers, individuals that come in, but also groups. What if a family wanted to volunteer? What if a youth group from a church? What if a business wanted to take off a day and come and volunteer? Could you use people that like that? That would be wonderful. That is what we are wanting. Schools and businesses and churches, you are all so important to yeah. us. Um, yes, please, please, please come. Do you have a, an inspirational story that you can share with us? I do. It's one of my first stories when I became a volunteer coordinator. So Grace came into my office and uh, said she wanted to volunteer, and, but she couldn't do much. And I said, that's fine. We would just love to have your presence here. And so I was asking her a little bit of what she liked to do, what her simple pleasure in life was. And she said that she loved to go have lunch with her girlfriends. Mm -hmm. Well, my heart started fluttering because it was two days before that I had just talked to someone and that was her simple pleasure, but she couldn't do it anymore because she was in a, a nursing home. And so she was very depressed about that. But whenever I spoke to Grace and she told me what she liked to do, I asked Grace if she would like to help me prepare a girls' luncheon. And so Grace got really excited. Perfect. We were talking about tablecloths and silverware and flowers for the table and, and uh, Joan's favorite food. And so uh, the whole team got involved and we got a table and we transformed Joan's room into just a little dining area. And That's so, so cool. Grace walked in with her picnic basket with her favorite food and a beautiful uh, vase of hydrangeas. And we, we just made it a very special day. And, and Grace, she just, she allowed Joan to be just a girlfriend sitting across the table from her. And um, when I came in to visit Joan uh, a little bit later in the day, she said that was the best day of her life because she didn't feel like a patient in a nursing home. She felt normal yeah. and normal is so important. And, and that's why I want to encourage all the Graces out there that doesn't feel like they can do anything Right. Come in, and I Absolutely. guarantee you, you can give more than what you ever thought you could give yeah. and make someone's day. Arla, thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it very much. Hello. Hi. Edna. I'm Teresa. So glad nice you're to meet here. You. Nice to meet you. I hear that you volunteer here. Yes, I do. I come to Signature to visit the residents and uh, spend their time with them. I go from room to room and see whatever their needs is and talk with them daily. Okay, so tell me what brought you here and why you do what you do, why you volunteer. I had retired from crop production services in Beaverdam after 29 and a half years and my immediate family had has all deceased and I was left alone, so I felt that I was going into depression because I missed people, and I uh, 
decided that if the Lord had left me here for a reason, that it must be to volunteer. And so I came down and talked with uh, Debbie Puckett and uh, Ms. Humphrey, and we got set up that I would start volunteering here. And I try to come at least er about every day, a few hours, and I go from room to room and talk with the residents. I have prayer with some of them, whatever the need is. So you've got great purpose here. I give it all the glory to the Lord. I think you have someone waiting on you right now. Yes, we do. So let's go over here and right. uh, meet with Sharon. Hello, Patty. Hello, how are you all? Hello, Miss Sharon, how are you today? I'm doing good today. Hey, Sharon. Hi. Nice to meet you, I'm Teresa. It's nice to meet you too. Well, right. how's your day going today? It's going good. Good, good. Did you have a good night last night? I did. Well, that's great. That's great. Did, uh, have you already had your breakfast this I morning? Have. Well, was it good? Yes, it was very good. Good, good. So, what's on the agenda for today? You have any activities going on today that you know of? <laughs> well, I'll be there's this, but maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Always busy, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Yeah. So Sharon, I've got therapy, and I've got to, and I like to crochet, and I do that, and I can read. Sharon, why is it important to have people like Edna here, and people that come in here and spend time with you and volunteer? It helps. It makes it helps to pass the time. It makes you feel like you're part of the community, that you're not just sitting in a corner somewhere. Edna, thank you for what you do. You're welcome. I enjoy it. And Sharon, thank you for what you do. Before I depart today, would you like to have a word of prayer? Yes. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for this day, for yes. what Sharon means to us, Lord. We ask that you supply her needs. Lord, we're so thankful for this signature nursing home, Lord, and for what they do for these residents, Lord. We ask that you just be with Sharon today and supply her needs. Be with each one that goes in and out of this room, that they can administer to her needs. and take care of her the way that she needs to be taken care of. And we're so thankful for the therapy department that's helping her to strengthen the Lord. We ask that you be with us, watch over us and care for us. Be with each one of us that we can be a light to this community. In these things we ask in your precious son's name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much for meeting us down here today. It's good to be here with you. I understand you're a volunteer here. Yes, sir. What is it that you come in and volunteer? What do you do? Uh, I come in on Tuesday mornings for the most part. I teach a Bible study here. Mm -hmm. I bring a, usually about 72 donuts with me. The seniors. You bring donuts with you. Yeah. Them. That's why they're gathering around that's here. That's the Look reason they donuts. gather here. <laughs> yes, that's right. And then I spend time on Hall 1 visiting the residents of Hall 1. Oh, wow. On Tuesday mornings, I'm usually here for two to three hours. And then the second Tuesday of every month, I preach a sermon here also. Oh, wow. So we just, we, uh, we start out with Sunday school hour, which is what I teach. Then we have four different ministers that come or each month yeah. on, a different, on the first Tuesday, second Tuesday, third Tuesday. Yeah. And uh, so all four ministers, we have, they have a sermon. They have a full hour of worship, just like they were at church. So you're bringing church right down here. Bringing church right down here to them. Some of them call this the church at Riverside or Signature Care Church. Yes, man, that is awesome. I love that, that you are going outside the church. You're being the hands and feet of Christ. Right. Right. We talked about that a little bit while ago, and you're bringing the church service right in here. And we have Miss Lou over here. Now, Miss Lou, now you're resident here, right? Right. Now, tell me, how important is it for volunteers uh, like Mr. Clive or, or other volunteers when they come in here and do activities with you or a Bible study or whatever that is, how is it important for, it, uh, for volunteers to come in here? Oh, it's very important. A lot of the residents get out to go to church on Sunday. I'm very fortunate I do. Yeah. What would you say? There might be somebody out there watching this show thinking, you know, I don't know if I would like to, uh, to volunteer at a nursing home or not. Uh, what would you say to them? Come on down and give it a try. Yeah. Does anybody else bring donuts? No. <laughs> That's how he's got you all sitting here at this table, right? That's a brilliant idea. I'm going to remember that. Are those donuts good? You yes. think the donuts are good? But we're all very fond of Brother Bell. 
I'm sure, yes, absolutely. Very fond of him. Brother Clive, again, yeah. thank you for your well, service. It's good to be here with you. Now, I'm kind of a, a, a volunteer in training for a day, so you're leading a little bit of a Bible study. So Right. We're doing a Sunday school lesson that we just completed Sunday morning at our church. Okay. And so we're in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 30. Well, why don't we do a little and, bit? And we're, we're going to start in verse 1 this morning. Okay. And uh, it says, When all these things happen to you, the blessings and the curses I have set before you, and you come to your uh, senses when you are, in, uh, you are in all the nations where the Lord God, your God, has driven you. Thank you so much. It is I good to be here with you. Again. Thank you very Thank much you. For, for showing me, letting me sit in here on your Bible study. And thank you all very much. Miss Katie, thank you so much for meeting me down here today. Thank you for having us. So this is super cool volunteering experience here at a nursing home. And it's so exciting that, that you have brought a number of kids down here from where? We actually uh, own a daycare right down the road. Is that right? Yeah. So what do you do with the kids? Well, the kids will come down. We come down on holidays and we'll trick or treat or we've come down and sing Christmas songs. They yeah. just like to come and hang out. I think the kids enjoy it just as much as the elders. So That's awesome. Yeah. So I know we got to listen to a little bit of singing earlier. The kids got to sing a little oh, bit. Oh yeah. What are we fixing to do now? Well, my friend Isabel is going to bowl and then she's going to have a helper that's going to bowl with her. So uh, yeah. Before we get started, will you tell me how important you think it is for young people as little as Isabel here, as young as she is, you are instilling volunteering in her at such a young age. How important is it for people to go out and volunteer in their community? Oh my goodness, it does not matter what age you are. It is extremely important to go out and volunteer in your community, regardless if it's a nursing home or a shelter, anything. It is extremely important. It shows only great values as the kids get older. And like I said, they enjoy it just as much as the ones that they're volunteering for. So thank you so You're much. You're very welcome. So, I'm, I'm going to try to help you out if I can. Miss Isabel, are you ready to play some bowling? Are you Give ready? Five. All right. All right, so sister. What can I do? Can you hand her the ball? Sure. He's going to oh, hand I you the ball. That. Yeah, it's really heavy. All right, what are you going to do? You You're going to take it and roll it. Can you roll it towards the pins? Can you hit those pins? I might have to help her a little bit. All right. Get her started. All right, you ready? All right. So let's hold it together, okay? Yeah, hold on to it with both hands. You ready? And what we're going to do is roll it towards there, okay? I'm going to help you. Ready? One, two, three, roll. Yay! Oh, it's good! Oh, it's Get up! Good job! Wow. Good! Now, All right. You want to help me get now, the hands up? Isabel, yep. we have a resident that's going to do some bowling with uh -huh. us. Ah, ha, ha! Oh! I don't know. She got a strike. I don't know if you can top that. Can you talk that? How you doing, sir? I did it. Oh, man, she did. She got a strike. So let me set up these pins, and it's going to be your turn, okay? All right. Got a couple over here. Isabel, I'll help you she out. She got a strike. Do you think there you can go. top that? Ooh, I don't know. Yeah. That was fierce competition already, right out the gate. Uh, there's one, let's see, here, here, and here, is She's that right? She's beautiful, yes she is, good. she absolutely is. All right, you ready? It's pretty heavy. All right, Isabel. Let's no, go. it's not too bad. Ah, oh, here we go, yay! Oh, wow. Yay! Come on, you can, you can knock them last three down. You can do it. Come on, let's do it. Come on, only three left. You can do it. Oh, yeah! Yay! Good job! She, she got a strike, but you got a spare. That's pretty good. That was pretty that, good. It? That's pretty good. What is your name, sir? Bill Young. Bill, what do you think about these young volunteers coming down here and hanging out with you all? It's wonderful, isn't it? It's great. I think it's pretty inspirational. What does it mean for volunteers, yeah, kids or adults, really? to come down here and hang out with you and spend time? It's fabulous. Thank you, Bill. Very nice to meet you, sir. Thanks for letting me play some bowling with you, okay? Thank <laughs> you. Can you shake his hand? Can you go Thank shake you his very hand? much. Shake his hand. Say good game. 
Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. No problem. And thanks for teaching these young kids volunteering at a young age. I think that's very important. Absolutely. Pretty cool what you're doing. Thank All you. All right. Thank you. Carol, how are you doing today? Doing well, thank you. Thank you so much for meeting us down here today. And I understand you are a volunteer here. So what all different volunteering do you do? Well, uh, on Mondays or Tuesday mornings, I visit just people in the hallway. There are some people that are in beds or that can't get out very often to do activities out here. So I like to visit and pray with some of them. Actually, Carla invited me several years ago to come and, and try to come with the prayer groups on th Thursday afternoons. We meet together and we talk about uh, friends that we have. Some of the people who live here have family members that are sick. We know people that are in the hospital. We pray for them and our volunteers, our firemen and our community workers on Thursday afternoon. And then we sing hymns. All right. So, so right now we're fixing to sing one of those hymns, right? Now let me ask okay. you a question really quick. Why do you think it's important to volunteer? Why do you do it? I found some friends here that I didn't know I had. <laughs> it's really great. That's awesome. And uh, people hear songs that maybe they haven't heard in a long time. Some people have had strokes and they can't speak as much as they used to, but they will hear a song and sometimes they'll just start singing and I just love seeing that. Well, I appreciate your heart to serve others. Uh, what song are we going to play? We're going to sing Amazing Grace. Well, I never heard that one before. Is it right. a new one? <laughs> new one. Amazing Grace. And we have several residents sitting around here that's going to join us, right? Are y'all ready to sing Amazing Grace? <laughs> Thank you so very much for your heart to serve others and for leading us in amazing grace, okay? Thank you. Thank they you are the ones much. that inspire me. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Thanks, everybody, so much for watching Project Volunteer. Teresa, we've had a great day here at Signature Healthcare, right? Absolutely. I've had a lot of fun as well. And we've got to do some great volunteer opportunities. We hope everybody out there watching gets involved in their community in any kind of volunteering at all. Just get involved. Go out and do something. Make a difference in somebody's life. Just like all the great volunteers and the great staff and the great folks here today. Thank you all for making us feel like we're at home, okay? Yeah. Say bye, everybody. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel like we're, I don't, okay, here we go. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Well, you're like this. You're like, oh, okay, I'm contagious well, you're or going something. <laughs> well, blow my nose on you. What are you doing the sleeve cough? You going, <laughs> <laughs> But I pointed it away. From you. You swung it around this way. <laughs> I got that way. Away from you. You're welcome, by the way. All right. <laughs> this show was brought to you by United Healthcare. Got Medicaid? Got Medicare? Get more.